Hello everyone and welcome to Michigan Farms. This is going to just be a video series where we're hanging out. We are celebrating the end of FS19, getting ready for FS22. And, you know, I thought I'd go back and play on one of the maps that I've probably spent the most time on in Farming Simulator 19. And that is Michigan Farms. It is by Days Gaming. And if you're interested in the map, check it out in the link below. And you can get it for yourself. It's a great map. I have probably spent at least six to seven hundred hours on this map total. I've spent a lot of time on here. I know it very well. And we're going to go through FS19 and have some fun on this map and just enjoy ourselves and make some money see if we can go through and own all the land at the end i you know i don't know we're just gonna have some fun but first things first uh i like to use auto drive i like to have a lot of things going i use course play auto drive and gps are my go-to mods for whatever i'm doing and that's uh that's my go-to's so we're gonna hop in and let's go ahead and get auto drive uh going on the map uh we're gonna talk a little bit about it but then it's just gonna be some time lapsing and then talking about various things but uh yeah well let's get started also if you're interested in auto drive if you like what we've excuse me if you like what we've got here uh be sure and check out auto drive below i'll leave a link to it uh on the github that uh, where you can get the latest version also i'm i will leave a link to the auto drive file for michigan farms here in the comment section below so be sure and check those out so first things first we've got auto drive started um when we look at our F1 menu, see over here to the left, left, alt, keypad zero. We'll turn on the auto drive HUD. So we'll go alt, left, alt, zero, and there we go. We'll get rid of our menu. So now here on the left, we've got this right here. In order to get to this menu, see right now my tractor, I can move back and forth. If you middle click, then you can move your mouse over here to the auto drive. I normally keep uh, everything over here on the left side of the map or excuse me on the right side of my screen that's just where I, what I'm used to because everything else is here so in order to get started with auto drive uh, first things first there are some settings that I do like to change all right so in this first settings menu uh, for auto drive the only thing I change is the auto connect at start I change that to no because I like to connect uh, my start points and end points to um, to whatever I'm trying to connect to. I don't like for it to do that uh, for me because sometimes it'll grab the wrong point and then I still have to go back and fix it. So I just leave it off. Driver wages, I leave that at 100%. You can turn it up, turn it down, turn it off. Uh, that's up to you, but I leave it on. Next, we'll go to user settings auto drive. I don't, uh, I don't change anything on here. I have noticed that some people, this line height, they like to change this to above the tractor. I leave it at ground level. And what, what that means is ground level, your lines will show up on the ground. Above the tractor means they'll be raised up off the ground, literally above the tractor. So, but for me, I like to leave them on the ground level. Next, the third third one is the vehicle settings. Please note, the vehicle settings are only for this vehicle that I am in. These first two, uh, I guess tabs, are general, uh, they're global settings for all of your tractors and equipment. This middle tab, this third tab, the vehicle settings is for the vehicle you are in when you access this. So keep that in mind. 
couple of things I do here. My corner speed, I like to turn this down to 75%. I have had things flip over if they're going too fast around a corner. So, got to be careful. I turn that down to 75%. That's just a preference for me. My unload fill level, I go ahead and bump this up to 100. And th these are things that I do on all of my tractors. And I do turn, I leave this avoid fruit on that way. Hopefully they won't knock down any of the extra fruit. I turn off automatic refueling. I like to refuel my own vehicles and beacon lights. I turn that on just for a little bit of realism. Automatic tip side. I, some people change that, uh, but for me, I could, I could go either way there. Uh, auto drive normally recognizes pretty good uh which tip that it needs uh which side that it needs to tip out of so but i do automatic trailer covers i turn that off i leave that to know that does create issues one thing i do want to go back uh to this first setting one thing i do turn on i turn on collision detection that way uh things won't collide and then I do turn on folders. Folders are awesome. Um, for Michigan, it's not as needed because the number of fields are only, I think it's 32. Uh, but if you get into a large map, especially if you're running multiplayer, which by the way, auto drives is supported in multiplayer. Um, you get, uh, you can have farms, multiple farms can create their own auto drive things and use those and they can have their own folder or uh like for me i'm gonna put the fields in a folder and i will put the cell points in a folder so and then i'll have my farm in a folder and as we progress uh we'll have new folders to put stuff in so that's pretty much everything the last two tabs are some debug stuff that'll show up on your screen if you need it i've literally never used those and then the last one is the experimental features. Uh, to be honest, I don't know anything about these uh, currently. So, but yeah, now that you're done, make sure you go to one of these first three tabs. See down here at the bottom, it says apply. If you do not hit apply, it'll give you this right here. All changes will be lost. Are you sure you want to close without saving? If this comes up, don't click yes. You want to click no. When you click no, it'll take you back. Make sure you hit apply. When you hit apply, your settings are saved. Okay, so let's get to recording. Something that I normally try to do, we'll load up the map. I try to look at the map and figure out where my roads are and the paths that I want to take. So for me, I try to use the outside loop of the map as the main loop. And then I figure out where all my cell points are and everything. Of course, with this map, they're all across the top for the most part, a couple on the bottom. Um, that way I kind of know what I want to do as far as paths are concerned. So for me, I'm gonna be running larger equipment. I don't want things to hit. Um, if you were running smaller equipment, uh, you could have a two lane road, but for me and the size of this map, I'm going to have just one, one direction roads. So the main loop is going to go clockwise. This little loop up here across the top is going to go clockwise. So it'll actually move around this direction. Um, and then the roads. The road through the middle and then the small roads up and down through here uh they're gonna have their own directions and uh we'll put those in after we make our main loop all right so let's get started as you can see i've got uh, gps on i like to use gps because it helps me to line up it helps give me a good position to line up so see right there i've already I've got my width set to the width of the road. I've got my line or my middle line of my GPS down the middle of the road. 
I want it to be down the middle of the road. Because I'm going to be running larger equipment. It's going to be folded up. I don't want to hit the light poles, any of the tractors here on the left, anything of that nature. So I have my GPS on, so my tractor is technically ready to go. Let's take a look over here at the auto drive uh, little user interface. Of course, right here, when you hover over these buttons up here in this top area on the right side of this black box at the top, it's going to tell you what it is. So this power button enables and disables auto drive pretty easy the second button this arrow uh, this is you change the mode so right now we're in drive mode it already recognizes this if we go to this little symbol pick up and deliver right here is just deliver like you've already got something in your trailer and you want to deliver it somewhere uh load is you're going to pick up a locate pick up something at a location and then it's going to go to a stopping point and then you pick the whatever you want your seeds or whatever and you can also pick crop then you have the unload combine we'll talk about that later um this is pretty much this will recognize and unload the combine automatically and uh we'll we'll talk about that later on as we progress i will actually show um throughout uh throughout the gameplay or the let's play of this um how to use how to use these things we'll t excuse me we'll talk through them and we'll click it again we're back to drive this right here is uh this button right here is continue if if you're stopped somewhere and it's waiting to be loaded or filled up or something you can actually hit continue and it will go on to its next destination that way if you're at the end of the field and the Let's say the tractor trailer is set to where it needs to be full, but it's not full, but you're done with the field. You hit that button and it will move on and go ahead and dump in your silo or whatever you have it set to go to. Park vehicle. Still haven't used that yet, so can't really tell you what that is, but we will figure it out for the end of the series. Increase loop counter. This right here, you left click it. And you can go up to nine or if you leave it with no numbers underneath it it will just go until you stop it it's just continuous these two numbers right here is the speed uh, both of these actually this bottom one i normally set um to 40. i don't really like the tractors to go um any faster than 40 and then also this is good for your tractor trailers uh, you can change the speed on that this right here is the you know i don't i don't know what that is i'll find out and we'll talk about it as we use it this right here start course play forward slash a i v e at destination this button right here is awesome whether you have course play going or you have the ai uh, enhanced vehicle vehicle enhanced mod when you send a tractor or an implement to a destination if you have this turned on and that the tractor that you're sending has a course play course loaded up for the field that you're going to it will automatically once you send it it gets to that destination it will go ahead and run that course it is unbelievable uh the integration between auto drive and course play that's why i love both of those and use them of course our cog here is settings opens up the menu uh, edit mode edit mode is what we are going to be in when you put in edit mode you see it gives you new things it took away our course play and aive uh, button and put these on here you have a record button when you hover over it of course you can see um it says record so what that does is when you turn it on 
see we've got a like a red a red dot here we just put a dot down on the screen so now when we move forward we're laying our what i would call track or our yeah it's our track uh for the auto drive course now when we get back over here we've got our open routes manager button we have our create edit target and i'll show you this once we make our main loop we'll attach the shop to the main loop and then we will show you how to use this and then also this uh, button right here we can delete a waypoint so right now here on our tractor this red line is pointing to this dot whatever dot that this red line is touching when you click this button to delete waypoint it will delete that dot so you got to be careful uh when you click this button because it, it is deleting the dots it doesn't delete the lines it deletes the dots which in turn eliminates the lines because there's nothing to collect or connect the lines to boy that's confusing my bad on that but i'll show you as we go and then lastly this button right here is edit selected target so once we have some targets right here in this drop down menu whatever target name is here you can rename it by clicking that button you rename it hit save and it'll be renamed it's not whatever target that this red line or dot is pointing to it is whatever target is in this box that's a mistake I made. But anyways, we're going to keep going. We're going to make the main loop. And we will get back with you guys when we have completed our main loop. And we'll show you how to join everything together. So we'll see you soon. to the shop right here we will uh, be ready to actually join the course it's gonna be really nice to have this it's gonna help us out a lot and uh, as we go throughout the process I'm gonna be able to show you guys how to use auto drive see there's our starting right there so we're gonna go ahead and move up here all right we put a point down there all I have to do to stop recording is literally just hit the record button and there we go. So we recorded that whole time and in order for this to work, this loop has to be closed. So all we have to do is when we hover over one of these little red dots, it turns purple. You can left click when you move away from it, it turns green. And I want to connect this dot right here to this one. So when I hover over it, it turns purple. I can left click it and boom there's a line put down but see there's an arrow this arrow is very important the last dot that you click on to put a line on is the direction that the arrow will point if i was to have started at this red dot and moved to this one there would have been a conflict it, it would not have liked it and uh we would have had issues but now that we have that this whole loop is now connected all right and that's gonna do it for our first episode of auto drive here on michigan farms by days gaming once again be sure to check out the link below for the download for the map if you're interested also the auto drive config file is in the download below there's two of those the first one is going to be everything if you were to start from scratch the second one is going to be new farmer mode where i actually include a small section for the farms as they're 
setup in the new farmer mode so be sure and check those out as always appreciate the support if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content today be sure and check out the rest of our videos and subscribe if you'd like for more content um, also give us a comment if you'd like to see something uh, in the near future we're uh, continually trying to do some FS19 stuff and we're getting ready for FS22. So be sure and hit that subscribe button. That way you get those notifications. We stream once a week and then we are going to put out, try to put out at least one video a week. So be sure and stay tuned. Everybody have a good one. Bye bye.